Good morning, everyone, and happy Easter. Today is a day of celebration. I'm so excited right now because uh, Easter is the most important day for us as believers. Uh, Christmas is often people's favorite holiday, but as a believer, everything hinges on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Today is the day of celebration. And for me, at least right now, there's it's a little bittersweet because I can't be with everyone. And, and Easter is like the Super Bowl of, of church world. I mean, it's a day that you see everyone. Everyone comes to church dressed in their Sunday best. And it's just a really special time of God's people gathering and, and this year, for some reason, God has, God has taken that away from us, but he's not taken away the resurrection. And the resurrection of Jesus is the reason we have joy. It's the reason we have confidence in our faith. And so today, I just encourage you, if you have, a, if you have time to, to spend some time with, with the Devo, with the Lord, uh, just spend it in joy. Spend it in prayer. Spend it in thanksgiving. Spend it in worship. Go on Spotify. Look at some good Easter songs. I mean, it's hard, it's hard to miss them. Uh, and, and, and spend it worshiping the Lord today. Uh, but if you have a time to open up your word, let's open up to John 20 and his account of the resurrection right now. So John 20, verse 1, says, Early on the first day of the week, while it was excuse me, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They've taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked into the, in, in, at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. And then Simon Peter came along b behind him and went straight into the tomb. And I love this about John's gospel, that, that John made sure we knew that, that he was faster than Peter. He got to the tomb first in, in the race, but he was too afraid to, to, to go in. It's a tomb. There's supposed to be a dead body there. This, it's, it, it's just freaky. And Peter's not even afraid. He gets, he gets there second, but he just runs straight into the tomb to see what's going on. And he says, he saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. He still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. Now Mary stood outside the tomb, crying. As she wept, she bent over the bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been at, at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They've taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you are looking for? Thinking that he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where have you put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. And she turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to, to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to, have, to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I've seen the Lord! And she told them that he had said these things to her. This is just a, a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful description of, of Jesus' resurrection. That tomb was empty, and an empty tomb was the hope of the world right here. Mary got to see Jesus first. She got to look, look at him and, and, and hold on to him. And Jesus said, not yet. You can't hold on to me just yet. I need to ascend to my Father. My time on this earth in person in my physical form is over and it's time for the spirit of the lord to come upon all of you and start this new movement this new gospel and spread it to the world guys this is the reason that we have hope on easter because it's not just our hope as god's people it's the world's hope and this is what we need to spread to the world this easter message is a message that everyone needs to hear it's a it's beautiful and before we before we end i actually just want to take your attention away from John 20, which is the story of the resurrection, and actually towards the tail end of John 19, where it, it, it says this in verse 41, describing the tomb. It says, at the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden, a new tomb, in which no one had ever been laid. 
How fitting is it that John begins the story of resurrection by talking about a garden? Where else in, in, in scripture has there been a garden? Well, Eden, Genesis 1. God, God created a garden for us to live in, and we defiled that garden, and we were banished from it. And then Jesus went back to a garden and was raised to life. You see the, the book ending here? What Adam had destroyed for all of us, Jesus resurrected and, and defeated and won for all of us. He saved it for all of us. Guys, from a garden, we were cursed, but then Jesus came here to this garden and blessed us from it. That's so beautiful. And that's my hope for you guys right now, that you would be blessed and filled with joy for the sake of the resurrection today. Guys, happy Easter. I'm so, I'm so missing you all. I'm so missing everyone right now. I can't wait to see everyone again and celebrate in person. But until then, happy Easter. Worship the Lord together in your homes. And I can't, and I can't wait to be able to worship again next year with everyone without the fear of coronavirus hanging over our heads. So may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Have an awesome Easter today.